Hey guys, welcome back to another WordPress tutorial with Pixelmarb. Um, in this episode, we're going to go over a plugin that's going to add some functionality uh, to your file editor when you add a post or page. So right now, let's look at the pages. I want to look at the current view. So we're going to go to this one here. So this is the toolbar. When you go to put in a page or a post or a custom post type, uh, this is generally what you're met with. It's uh, really already filled with some pretty good functionality. Um, you know, you can bold, italicize, strike through, bulleted list, numbered list, and so on. These are some of the function functions you have built into it. You could toggle that sub bar on and off. Um, you know, this is enough for the vast majority of people, but you know, sometimes you may want to have more features. All right, so what can you do about that? Well. There is a plugin for that, obviously. So we're going to add a new one. We're going to go to the plugins and then add new. And then in the search field, we're going to type in tiny MCE advanced. Uh, tiny MCV, MCE advanced enables the advanced features of the tiny MCE, the WordPress WYSIWYG editor. It's installed on over 1 million active WordPress installations, has a lot of positive reviews, recently updated. Let's look at more details. So when you click on the more details, you're presented with this screen. It gives you some more information about the plugin itself. Installation, screenshots, change log, facts, and reviews. All right, so after taking a look at that, let's install it. Once installed, you're going to activate the plugin. And then you're going to see that it's added to your plugins list. So you can go straight to the settings page if you want. And these are some of the settings that you can configure. You can enable the editor menu if you wanted to. By default, it's already set to on. And these are some of the options that already exist there. So you, know, you could drag and drop you know, into certain fields. These are some of the unused. Um, buttons you can drag and drop them if you wanted to you know put them wherever you want and these are some of the options list style options context menu themes of that nature and then if you want to create a CSS classes menu you can do that but you have to add a editor dash style dot CSS uh, file to your theme in order to enable that sometimes people complain about the fact that WordPress strips away some of the paragraph tags. Well, this option here will prevent that from happening. It'll leave the paragraph tags in there. And these are just some of the other settings there. So um, we're going to leave that the way it is. Now let's go to pages. Let's see what's new. OK, so we're going to go to the edit. So now we have this new toolbar over here that allows you to uh, get some additional functionality that you did not have before. Um, one of the neat features is you can create a table based on the how many columns and rows you want. So that's some pretty that's pretty cool. You can paste in some source code if you want. So that's another you know cool feature that people um, you know may want. You can have some other formats over here that allow you to format your content a little bit differently. You can clear your formatting. You can view some information there. You can insert some more stuff, some special characters. These are some of the special characters you can insert. These are some edits and file. And then these are just the standard um, options that you have with WordPress file editor. So that's pretty much what this plugin does. It gives you some additional features that you may find helpful uh, when wanting to add some more formatting uh, to a post or a page or a custom post type on your next blog post. Um, so take a look at it. It's the tiny MCE. Let's take a look at that again. The tiny MCE advanced um, plugin. It's a very popular plugin. Add some pretty functionality that you may find helpful 
And, uh, you know, this is something that people have been asking for, especially the issue of the paragraph tags. Sometimes, obviously, WordPress does strip those away if you put them in. Um, so this plugin allows you to keep that in. So hopefully you found this episode uh, helpful uh, and informative. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts, questions, or ideas, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll take a look at those. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be giving you some more uh, tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress-powered website in the upcoming episodes. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.